Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ryan Gruse from The Loop Loft, and I've been receiving a lot of emails from people asking about the audio previews from our uh, Mark Kelly bass loops collection. Uh, specifically, people asking about what drum loops we were using on top of Mark's bass loops and how we created uh, what we did just to kind of show you what was in the collection. So what I wanted to do in this video is just take a few of the, of the different examples and kind of pull back the curtain and show you what loops we're using and how we're using some distortion plugins and layering of multiple drum loops to create the previews. So let's dive right in. Um, as you can hear right now or see right now, this is from one of the rock uh, sets that Mark recorded, kind of a very you know chugging 16th note dark you know bass line. And what I wanted to do with this was kind of create sort of a flaming lips, you know, dirty big tom fill leading into a, a, a big kind of tribal rock groove. So let's cue the fill that I created. Here it comes. One, two. into the main groove. So let's go back and listen to that fill one more time. And let's just solo that fill on its own. So you'll hear it's kind of got this crazy overdriven effect. And to achieve that, let's just open up this plugin here. I'm using Isotope's Trash plugin, which is probably my favorite uh, favorite plugin right now for using on uh, drum loops and, and anything in general that you want to make dirty um, and, and musical because a lot of times you'll use amp simulator plugins or um, just whatever comes with with your DAW and they, they tend to have a really bright and harsh uh, sound but with I find that with the trash you can really dial in a warm fat tone so on this I'm just using the punch and lift preset and if we turn that off You'll hear that it's, you know, just a very standard tom, very, I think it's from our dry drums collection. Uh, a clean, you know, very muted tom tom sound, but with the plugin, you get that crazy vibe. So that's just for that one fill. And then leading into, let's turn the bass back up, into the main section. You'll notice we have three different drum loops, and these are from our indie rock drums collection. So. What I wanted to achieve was kind of a tribal, uh, you know, heavy tom groove, but with, you know, kind of a flowing eighth note, um, you know, a standard kind of hi-hat vibe with it. So let's check that out and listen to the different loops. So the first loop we have, again, this is from our indie rock groove. So it's kind of got this slap back uh, reverb that, that we printed uh, onto the loop. Um, and it's just a straight eighth hi-hat hi -hat groove. And then on the second loop that I've layered, it's a tom-tom groove where I'm on the floor tom. Again, kind of a very straight eighth note poundy thing with the slap back. And then the third loop that we layered in is just another variation of a hi-hat groove. So if we bring all three together, that's how you get that vibe, because typically it'd be impossible to play this as a drummer because there's a tom, a hi-hat, and a snare drum uh, with some ghost notes on everything. So you would need three arms. So this is why we've layered three loops to achieve that kind of bigger than bigger than life sound. Um, so that carries on with the bass loop, just kind of in an A section. And then we take it to kind of a, a dirty breakdown here with just the bass. Sort of a kind of a white stripes, like just overdriven uh, but on the bass you know kind of sound and to do that again we're using the trash plugin so let me pull that up and show you how we change the overall tone and we're using the preset this is the classic overdrive which is a great great amp sounding so if we turn that off you know completely different vibe very not as gnarly as as, as what it is when it's on so bringing that back in And then with the drums. So cool, that's the rock preview. Let's jump on to one more and show you guys what we did. OK, 
Okay, cool. So now we're checking out some of the hip hop audio previews we did. And what's kind of unique and special about this is, is more about the feel of the grooves itself. Um, initially with what Mark did, and then what we kind of did on the drum side to line it up with Mark. Um, and if we turn on a click, you'll hear how crazy far behind the beat Mark is, is playing the groove. So it's almost, you know, it almost sounds like it's wrong, but it's a consistency where he's just playing way, way behind the beat. Um, creating that you know, lazy feel. So if we bring the drums in, this is something we kind of had to do when I layered layered the drums on top of Mark's groove. So, and this kind of comes from that style of uh, well, obviously Mark's in the in the roots, so he plays with Quest Love, who's as far as live drummers is concerned, is kind of you know one of the kings of playing so far behind the beat. Um, and keeping it consistent and and just locking it in a band so like if you check out like you know he played on d'angelo's voodoo album and of course with all the roots stuff that he's done great examples of that so when it came time to create these previews um we had to make a drum loop that was uh as far back as as mark was in the beat so if you look here uh in the midi view you'll see you can actually see the midi notes how you know, far behind they are, behind the one and the two and the three and the four, to kind of keep that consistency of literally way, way, way deep in the pocket. So even when Mark changes it up, it sits there right with them. And this is, again, going way back, or not way, 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 way back, but one of the uh, production masters of this was Jay Dilla, as far as his production style and kind of that lanky, like, where's the beat going, super in the pocket. Um, and as far as sounds go, we used the Suicide Kit um, drum rack and then layered, we can get to it, here you go. Again, using the Trash plugin, um, if I can open it, just to kind of add a little extra color and bite to it. You can see it's almost barely, you know, some crazy effect here, the bold swinging one, but we just dialed it in, just, just a hint. Uh, to give it a little extra color. Let's just listen to the drums by themselves. And it kind of gives a, there's kind of a dotted eighth note delay on it as well. So if we turn it off, just totally dry, and then back with trash. So it kind of gives it a little swing too to kind of tie everything together um, and back with the bass. So that's it. That's the kind of at least two of the audio previews that we did with Mark's collection, and hopefully you learned something about layering and, and using, uh, you know, a little bit of distortion to color color your drums and whatever else you might be working with. And really importantly, working with feel, getting off the grid, you know, putting things way in the pocket, um, and, and just going for a whole different approach. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them here on the blog or wherever you may be seeing this, and uh, we'll see you again soon. All right, guys, take care.